Hi, this is Anthony with Revzilla TV, and in this video we're going to talk about sizing and fitment for our full range of Gerbing's product. It's Gerbing's heater gear at Revzilla.com. You can find that line of Gerbing's gear at Revzilla.com slash Gerbing's. So I have Patrick, who's my unfortunate victim today, to my left. Patrick, we're going to size you up as if you walked into our store, and we're going to go Gerbing's out. And people that don't know Gerbing's are, if you stumbled upon this video, it's heated gear. It's meant to really extend the riding season into the deep, deep depths of cold weather riding. So as long as you have traction, you can keep riding. So now let's move on to jacket. Before you escape here, let's measure you up. So what I'm going to do is I want you to point that way. And the first thing I'm going to do is measure your chest. As with any chest measurement for motorcycling, what you want to do is you want to go around the widest part of the chest. For a guy, it's typically right around the nipples. For a woman, it's type, usually the crease, kind of where your arm, the top of your armpit. I'm going to bring it around the back here. I'm going to ask Patrick to put his arms down naturally, take a deep breath and hold it. When you take that deep breath and hold it, what it's going to do, it's going to be if your jacket has armor, depending on the fitment, it's going to give you a little bit of room to work with because some people, depending on the time of the year, may have extra liners or armor that goes into the jacket. So Patrick, you're right about 39 and a half. That's going to put you in a small for Gerbings. Now here's the second measurement, which is critical. Gerbings in almost all of their regular sizes, so they have two extra small up to four extra large, and they actually have half sizes. So there's a large slash extra large middle size. You know, you want this liner to fit like a turtleneck. You want it to fit over a base layer, but really tight against your body with that heat layer. So they made 21 different sizes of jacket liners to make sure that depending on how you, everybody's dimensions are slightly different, you can get the optimal fit. So Patrick, once you turn back that way, I'm gonna put your arms in a riding position now. So, oh, so you're riding your GS, you're on the big fat touring bike. So let's go here and we're gonna start right at kind of that first vertebrae that's not your neck. I'm gonna come down, come down underneath the back of your arm. I'm gonna stop at your elbow. It's usually an easy point to pinch at. Switch hands. Now I'm gonna come down to your wrist. I'm gonna end up down here and really I'm putting you right in that 33 and a half, 34 range. So based on the Gerbing size chart, use that second column. Look at sleeve length. For Patrick, you actually have some pretty long arms for a guy who's about 5'9". You're gonna be in that, you're gonna be a small long. So a small long is gonna fit you in the chest. The long is gonna accommodate you with that extra sleeve length. There's a small regular and a small long. For all of the sizes that are alphanumeric, that are unisex, you're gonna, most of them have a long size as well. And the long is really, it just talks about sleeve lengths. It does not change the torso length. So basically for a jacket, you'd be a small long. So basically here's Patrick in his small long. We just kind of threw it on him here. You can see how it's meant to fit. It's very tight in the chest. You have just enough in the arms. It comes down these great cuffs here. Inside these pockets on the side, you're gonna notice that there is the wiring to connect right to a glove. But basically, be sure, if you're curious about the gloves or the jackets and pants, which we're gonna get to in a second, there are full videos that break down the features, the connection, and how you wire all this stuff. So this is just a sizing video. Be sure to check out our collection of Gerbing's videos that really fill in the blanks depending on what piece you're looking at. Take a quick spin around, Patrick. I just wanna show the fitment on that guy. Remember, go ahead and spin back. It's meant to fit like a turtleneck. This is meant ideally to go over a, a base layer or underwear top, then you have your heated layer, then you would have your shell. From a fitment standpoint, if you have any questions about it, give us a shout. If you're unsure, if you're in between the in-between sizes, just call us up, 877-792-9455 or cs at ribzilla.com. You know, the Gerbings family of gear, remember, is supposed to fit snug. It's a mid-layer. Mid goes over time, top of your, uh, your base layer, and it goes underneath your shell. So if you have any questions, give us a shout. Check it out at ribzilla.com slash Gerbings. And remember, there's a how to connect to the bike video, there's a glove overview video, there's a pants and jacket liner overview video. We've done a lot of things to try to connect the dots for people and take any of the guesswork out. This just happens to be the fitment video. So make sure you check out any of those other videos on the product pages or on Revzilla TV. I'm Anthony, we'll see you next time. Thanks for watching.